Hello again, it's the time to have some fun. In this video, we will create this toy crane using sheet metal features. Let's start with a new part. Let's start with a sketch on the top plane and draw a center rectangle. Let it be 75 millimeters by 40. And then let's fill it the corners. and set this to 5 millimeters, then hit OK and finish the sketch. And now from sheet metal, base flange, let's set this thickness to 1 millimeter and make sure the thickness goes up the sketch, the K factor is 0.4, then hit OK. And from the cut list, select this body and then appearance, body, and let's give this body a color, let it be blue. And now let's start another sketch on the right plane. And then let's draw this profile. I need these two lines to be collinear. And this distance here should be one millimeter. And then between this point and this edge, it should be 4 millimeters. Then draw a center line and select this line, hold control, this one and this one, and then make symmetric. And now select this line and this one and this one, and then make symmetric. This line is 7 millimeters, and this height is four millimeters. Then set these two lines to be equal and then finish the sketch. And once again, select base flange tab. Select override default parameters and set the bend radius to 0.5 and keep the K factor to 0.4, then hit OK. And then let me expand this here a little bit. Open this arrow. And for this body, click here, Appearance, and let it be red. Select corners, then the break corner, and make sure to select fillet and set this value to 4 millimeters, then select these edges. Then hit OK. Select the front and the start a sketch there. Start with a line and create the following profile. And now let's set some dimensions. So this length will be 24, and this one would be 29, and this one is 22.5. And here we need to define an angle which is 122. Now finish the sketch and select base flange again. For direction one, select up to surface and select this one here. For direction two, select up to surface and select this one too. Then hit OK. And let's assign a color for this body. So from here, Let's select the yellow, for example. Now select edge flange and select this edge. And now select edit flange profile. I drag this point and then set this line with this line to be equal. And then set this height to be seven millimeters. Then pick a center point arc, snap to the midpoint and then snap to this point and draw this arc. Then turn this line into a construction geometry. If you don't have a preview, that means you have a problem. Usually you just need to drag these points around, then you can set the relations. Once you have the preview, select back. Now we need this flange to be inside this wall here. To do so, make sure to select material inside. Then you will have the whole flange inside this wall and go down 
until you find custom relief type. Select the first type and let's use use relief ratio and set it to 2, which means if the thickness is 1 mm, this relief will be 2 mm. Hit OK. And here we have it. Once again, select edit flange and do the same, but this time with this edge. Finish the command. Once done with these flanges, go to features here, select mirror, and then select the front plane. And for the features to mirror, just select this one and this one, then hit OK. We didn't define the same relief as we did here. So go back to this feature and edit the definition of it and custom relief type. Select the first type and set this ratio to 2 millimeters, then hit OK. And now it's updated. Now we need to create some cuts here, that's why we need to unfold this part. So from sheet metal, select unfold. For the fixed face, we need this to be fixed, then we will only have this bend. Then hit OK. And now start a sketch here. Start with a corner rectangle. I draw a rectangle here and I draw another one here. Now let's set some dimensions. So this is will be 20, and this is 10, then set these three to be equal, then this distance should be 5 millimeters, and this distance should be 12 millimeters. Set this line with this line to be collinear and set a distance here, which is 5 millimeters. Then let's apply some fillets. Reduce this value to 3, and then select these edges. I think 3 is too much. That's why, let's reduce this to 2 millimeters. then hit OK. Once done, finish the sketch, and select Extrude Cut, then Link to Thickness, then hit OK. Now we need to fold this part again, so select Fold, and this time, the fixed face is already selected. We only need to select the bend, which is this one, then hit OK. Now select this face and start a sketch. Start with a line. Snap to this edge, draw a line here, and another one here, and then another one here. The relation between these two lines will be collinear, and it will be the same between these two lines. And then this point with this edge should be coincident. Now, go up here, and then to the right. This height should be 4 millimeters, And the distance between this line and this point should be 45 millimeters. Now let's complete this profile. So here, go up. Something like this. Set this point with this line to be coincident. This angle is 135. Height is 15. And this angle is 110. This length is 10 millimeters. Now let's draw something very close to this profile. This line should be vertical, 
and the distance between these two lines should be 10 millimeters. This line with this line should be parallel. The distance between these two lines should be 4 millimeters, and the distance here should be 4 millimeters too. Then we have a square here. Set these to be equal, and then this should be 10 millimeters. I drag it here. This distance should be 5 millimeters, and this one should be 10. Now let's apply some fillets again. Set this value to 1 millimeter and select all the corners. Once done, finish the sketch and select base flange again. Make sure to have this flange inside this one. We don't want to merge the results because we want to have a separate body, then hit OK. Now, as you can see, we have an interference here, and the value of the interference is 1 mm. So to solve this problem, we need to select this flange, then edit this feature, and here you will find offset. Set the offset value to 1 mm, and as you can see, it's not correct this way, so we need to flip the offset. And now it's correct and hit OK. And we need to do the same with this flange. So select this flange, edit the feature, go down to offset, set the value to 1 millimeter, and then reverse the direction, then hit OK. And now it's correct. Now select edge flange and select this edge. Draw something to this direction and select edit flange profile. Let's drag this point and let's set these two lines to be equal and this will be 7 millimeters. Now drag this point here and let's set a distance between this edge and this point. If you face a problem because this line because this color is blue, you can simply select OK, finish the smart dimension, then from here, we cannot select it because we are already in the command. What you can do is that finish the command for now, and then select this view, and now let's go back to this feature, and to the edit. Now, we need to set a distance between this edge and this one of 4 millimeters and select center point arc snap to the midpoint and draw this arc set this line to be a construction geometry and since we don't have the preview try to drag these points so the relation between these points will be merge instead of coincident. Once done, select back, and here, this time we need the bend to be outside, so select bend outside, then hit OK. Go back to shaded with edges, and let's set a color to this part, so select appearance, and set any color you want. Then. Go back to Features, Mirror, and select the front plane, and this time we will mirror a body. So select this body, and make sure Merge Solids is not selected, then hit OK. For the new body, we need to apply the same appearance. So usually, the last appearance you choose is copied to the background. So once you click here, just select Paste Appearance. And now it's done. Let's connect these two faces with another base flange. So start a sketch here and select Corner Rectangle. 
snap to this point and then set this point with this point here to be coincident. Once done, finish the sketch and select Base tab. Make sure to reverse the thickness and not to select Merge Result. Then hit OK. And now we need to set another flange here, but we need it to connect to this one. So select Edge Flange and select this edge and drag it somewhere here. And this time, select Edit Flange Profile, drag this point. and drag this one. If you have a problem dealing with this, since you cannot have the normal view here, simply click Finish. Now you can find the feature here, and then you can find the sketch. So let's have this a view, and then let's edit this sketch. And now, let's have hidden lines removed, and then we can deal with this sketch more easier here. So, draw a center point arc, and then set this line to be construction geometry. Select this arc, and select this arc, and set them to be concentric. And then, select them again, and set them to be coradial. Drag these points, so, so all the relations will be in count, then finish the sketch. And now, let's see how it goes. Let's edit this feature again. Now for the flange position, let's select material outside, and now these two flanges will touch each other. Now go to the custom relief type and let's define the same conditions. Then hit OK. Now we need to mirror this feature. So go to features, mirror, and then select the front. And for the features this time, select this feature. Then hit OK. And now let's assign a color. So open this body here and select appearance. Then let's select the black, for example. Select the front and select reference geometry, then plane, and then set this offset to be 10 millimeters and make sure it's to the left. Hit OK and start a sketch on this plane. And let's sketch the following. Let's start with a line and set this and set this point with this edge to be coincident. And the distance between this line and this edge is six millimeters. Then sketch this profile. And this length is 4.5 and the distance between these two lines is 7.5 segment is 5 millimeters now select three point arc and draw an arc here and we need this point with this point to be horizontal and this one with this one to be vertical and then the radius is 5 millimeters. Then draw a line. Then go back a little bit, then proceed. So you can have an arc. Then another line here. Now this arc and this arc are equal. And the distance between them is 54. Now let's proceed here. Go back, then draw this arc, then this one, 
and now select three point arc and draw another one here and then connect these and set this line to be vertical and set a tangency here and make sure you have tangent on both sides once you click here you can see the relations so it's okay now the distance between this line and this edge is 5 millimeters and the distance between this line and this point is 8 millimeters here is 120 this distance is 7 the distance between this point and this line is 110 and finally we need to fully define this arc so if you drag it you can tell that we don't have tangency here so select this arc with this line and then make tangent and finally we need to define a radius so these will be equal and here we have a fully defined sketch finish the sketch and select from sheet metal base flange make sure to have the same direction of the thickness should be reversed without merge result hit ok once you have this part go to the cut list and here let's assign a color should be let's say green now we need to define a flange here so select edge flange and draw a flange here reverse the direction place it for now then go here to the sketch and edit the sketch let's select hidden lines visible and this time i will drag this point and i want the center of the arc of this flange to be concentric with the center of this fillet so let's drag this here and then select center point arc start with the midpoint start here and close this then set this to be construction geometry set this arc with this one to be concentric once you have them drag these points again then hit ok go back to shaded with edges and finish the sketch let's go back to the feature itself and then select bend from virtual sharp then hit ok now we need another flange here and we need the same conditions that's why i will create a reference point so i can use it so i'll start a sketch here i'll select point and i'll snap to this fillet and I'll place my point at the center of this arc. Once done, exit the command and finish the sketch. Now go to Features and select Linear Pattern. For the direction, select this edge for example. And for the feature itself, select this edge. Now let's go back up. Select Up to Reference. And the reference will be this point. Now I can select Centroid. And the number of instances here should be only two instances. Once done, hit OK. And as you can see, the center of this flange lies exactly the same on the center of this fillet. Now we need to mirror this part. So select mirror and select the front. And this time, instead of feature make sure to select body then hit ok and here we have the body let's hide this sketch and then and now we need to create another base flange so select this face and start with a line snap to this point here then a draw this profile now set these two points to be vertical and set this length to be 15 once done finish the sketch and select from the sheet metal tab 
this flange. For direction 1, traverse this and select upper surface and select this one here. Make sure the thickness is correct, in our case it's not, so go to sheet material parameters and select reverse direction. Now it's correct, and since this height is 7, let's double check it from measure. This is 7, so go to the sheet metal tab again and select break corner. And here, set this to 3.5, so when we round this, we will have half a cylinder. So make sure to select fillet, not chamfer, and then select this edge and this one, and do the same here. Once done, hit OK, and here we have it. Select the front again, and this time draw a circle. Make sure to snap to the center point of this arc, and to snap to the center point of this arc, and then select center line, draw one center line, two center lines, then make them equal. And here I can make sure whatever I draw here will be in the middle between them. And set these three circles to be equal. And then let it be 3 millimeters. Finish the sketch and then go to features, select extrude, mid plane, remove this option and remove this one and then set this to 45 millimeters, and then hit OK. Let's go up here, select all these, and at once select body, and pick a color, then hit OK. Select this face, and select convert entities, convert this circle, and to draw another one, and set this diameter to be 18, then finish the sketch, and select sheet metal, then select base flange, and make sure to have the thickness inside, which is correct in our case, then hit OK. Once again, select the inner face, start a sketch, Let me flip this, convert entities, convert the outer circle, and draw a center line from here. Select offset and set this to 0.2 millimeters. Then select this line, trim entities, and trim this part so we can have, so we will have an open contour. Finish the sketch and select base tab again. Make sure to reverse the direction, and for direction 1, set this to be 3 millimeters. We need to make sure that this will not interfere with this part here when we do it. So in this case, we may need to increase this distance. So set this to 3 millimeters for now, and let's go back to this feature. And instead of 45, let it be 48. Then hit OK. Let's have this view. And we still have a small problem. So let it be 50. And now it will be fine. Now select tab and slot. And I need to connect this sheet. In this case, go down, and from here, select Blind, then go up. We need to connect this edge, and now to this face here. Then let's set the parameters for the tab and for the slot. So we will have equal spacing, and the number will be 2. The length will be 1 millimeter, and the height will be 1 millimeter. Then select the type to have a chamfer, 
and the value of the chamfer will be 0.3 millimeters. Hit OK, and here you have the tab and the slot. Now once again, select this face, start a sketch, and convert entities, and make sure this time to convert this circle, not this one, because we want a closed control now. Hit OK, and once again, select Base Flange tab. As you can see, we have interference, so reverse the direction, then hit OK. Let's have this view. Edit this feature, and select Override, Default Parameters, and set this to 0.5 millimeters. Then hit OK. And for this one, do the same. Then hit OK. Once done, let's go up here. And for this part, let's select the color. And let's do the same with this one. And the same with the last one. I will just copy this appearance and I will paste it here. Now I have the appearance for the whole wheel. So now go to features, select linear pattern, select this edge for example, spacing and instances. I want this to be 27 and this time I will pattern bodies. So select this one and this one and this one. Reverse the direction and set the number to 3. Once OK, hit OK. I'll copy this appearance and now I'll select this one and this one then I will paste it. And here I have the same appearance. Now select mirror and select the front and for the bodies, one, two, three, one, two, three, and from here, one, two, three. Once you have them all, hit OK. Go back up again, open the cut list, and for this one, And select DC3, then paste. And here we go. Now select reference geometry plane, select this face, and set this to 18 millimeters, then hit OK. Start a sketch on the new plane. And now start with a line. As you can see, I cannot snap to this edge. So select Convert Entities and try to select this face. Now select all of them and turn them into construction geometry. Then select Center Line and snap to the midpoint here. Then draw this profile. Now the distance between these two lines should be 15 and this distance is 10 millimeters and these two lines are equal and then this line and this line are symmetric about this line. So select, select all of them and select make symmetric. Once done, finish the sketch. Now I have a problem. The sketch constrains an entity with unsuitable geometry. If it happens, just finish the sketch. And to solve it easily, select this, select this plane again, start a sketch, convert entities, and only convert these three lines. Finish the sketch and select base flange. 
from here for direction one select mid plane and set this to seven millimeters and make sure that the thickness does not interfere with this body if it does you only need to reverse the thickness direction hit ok and from here select the break corner and set this to 3.5 and select these edges hide the plane and start a sketch on this face let's start with a line snap to the center point here and draw a line give it a length of 100 and then set an angle which is 15 and now draw a circle here and draw another one here these two circles should be equal and then this diameter is 8 millimeters start with a line snap to the circle and then snap to this one and make it tangent now start with another line start here then go straight then snap to the circle to be tangent draw a central line snap to the midpoint here make it perpendicular to this line then select this line and this line and this one and then select make symmetric then select this point and this point and this line and then make symmetric now let's set some dimensions so this distance should be 10 millimeters and this length should be 20 and we need to trim this part of the circle and this one and this part and this one and we need to set this to a construction geometry now select offset and set this to 7 then select this line and reverse the direction set this line to a construction geometry and draw a center point straight slot start here somewhere here and draw it in this way set this angle to be 60 and then this distance to be 6 and this radius to be 2 then set a distance between this point and this point now let's pattern this slot along this line it's a little bit critical so reduce this to 1 so we won't do anything with the x-axis and here when it comes to the y-axis increase this to 2 and here we have a very nice option like you can define an angle and as you can see we will pattern this along this line and this line is inclined with 15 degrees and that's why here instead of 90 we need to define 345 degrees so this is the y-axis and our line this one is somewhere here so now we need to start counting from the x we need to go all the way until we get to the line since this angle is 15 so we need to go 345 degrees so we can be aligned with our line so here the angle is 345 and then the entities we will select this slot and we will increase the number with keep while keeping the space 10 millimeters let's reduce this to 9 or to 8 now it's okay finish the sketch and select it from here and select from the sheet metal tab base flange now make sure to have the thickness in the right direction we need to reverse it 
and deselect merge result. Then hit OK. And now we have this shape. We need another one. We need another one. So from features, select reference geometry, select this face, and select this face. Now you will have a plane between them. Then select mirror and select the new plane. And for the bodies to mirror, select this one, then hit OK. Finally, we need to connect these. So select this face and distort the sketch. And here, start with a circle, snap to the center point of this circle, and set this to 3.5 millimeters. And do the same here. And make these equal. Now extrude this and select up the surface and select the surface. After that, start a sketch on this face. And let's convert this entity. Then hit OK, finish the sketch, then extrude, reverse the direction up to surface and select this one. Now go back and make sure merge result is not selected. Hit OK. Now select this feature, open this and show this sketch. And make sure show all types is not selected. Now we can see this point. Then let's go back here. Select the right, then plane, and hold control and select this point. Now start a sketch here. Let's have a normal view. Start with a line and snap to this point and draw this profile. Then set this to be vertical and this line. With this edge here, to be collinear, finish the sketch, and from the sheet metal select base flange, set direction 1 to mid plane, and set it to 7 millimeters, then hit OK, and from here select break corner, and select these edges. Hide this plane and hide the sketches. Now we need to place some holes, like we need holes here and here and here and here and here. So we can do them all at once. Select the front plane and then set this to hidden lines visible. Start with a circle, snap to the center point of this arc and then draw a circle do the same here and do the same here we need another one here but snap to this one and we need another one here hold control and these and set them to be equal. And now set this to 3 millimeters. Finish the sketch. Go back to the view. And now, once done, select extruded cut and select through all both. Then hit OK. And now we have holes here, here, and here. Now we need to place other holes, like on these flanges and here. And then we need to connect this body to this one. So now we have a very nice option here in SolidWorks. 
this one and this one and this one then right click here and select isolate now you will only see these in the screen and you can deal with it easily so start a sketch on this face and let's have hidden lines visible pick a circle and snap here and here Now set this to 3 millimeters and select all of them and make them equal. Once done, once done, select circle again and snap to these and snap to the center point of this fillet and do the same here and here. And here and set the diameter to 2 millimeters and select these four circles and make them equal and we need a big hole here and it should be 5 millimeters now finish the sketch go back to shaded with edges select extruded cut and here select through all then hit ok now let's exit isolate and we still need to place two holes here and here so select this face start a sketch and draw a circle and then draw another one Now select these two circles and make them equal, then give it a diameter of 3 millimeters. Finish the sketch, extrude it cut, and this time select up the surface, and it will be this surface. Now we need to connect this upper part to this lower one, and that's why we need to start a sketch here. Start with a circle, snap to the center point, and, and draw a circle here, and then select this circle and this edge and make radial, and then, and then convert this edge. We need to do the same here, convert this one. And then draw another circle and make it radial with this one. Once again, convert, then another circle, Now, extrude these to one millimeter, remove these options, and then select linear pattern, let's select this edge for example, and here select bodies, and select one, two, three, and four, go back, reverse the direction, Set this to 1 millimeter, and let's have this a view. So obviously we need 6 pieces of this, and now we have it connected. Now we will draw a wire that connects this part to this one. So we need to pick this plane, which is in the middle here. Start a sketch, and select hidden lines visible, select offset. 0.5 then select this circle then hit ok because now we will use a sweep feature to draw a wire that is one millimeter diameter between this circle 
and this edge. Now select offset again, and this time select this edge. Reverse the direction, then hit OK, and convert entities, and convert this edge. Then let's trim this part, and convert this part to a construction geometry. Now select three point arc, and draw any random arc here. Set these to be tangent, and set a distance between this point and this point of 0.5 millimeters. Drag this here, and now select a line and connect these. Now I want this to be tangent here, and I want it to be tangent. To this arc. Once done, select a center line and to draw a center line here and to draw another one here and then so set this angle to 90 then finish the sketch and now make sure to select the sketch and select sweep then circular profile and set this to one millimeter then remove this option, merge result, then hit OK. And now we have this wire connecting these two parts. Finally, you can add some colors to these parts. And this was a good practice on how to use multi body with sheet metal design. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next video.